Hello and welcome to this latest edition of IHC Video Magazine. Let's see together some news stories and member updates. Today we are loading 250 cubic meters of health supplies, mainly for WHO. It does include smaller volume of uh, uh, health supplies for UNHCR and uh, UN OSHA, but uh, most of it is uh, 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 for WHO. And we are loading with nine trucks that will come today to start the loading. They will go to the uh, airport, uh, Charger Airport. From there, we will have two special flights that will go one to Sana and one to Aden in Yemen. Today, we are dispatching the final two flights under the WFP Emergency Common Services Program. These flights will be going to Yemen, one to Aden, and one to Sana. WHO will be providing approximately $1.7 million in medical supplies, including COVID relief items, such as surgical masks and biomedical equipment, as well as non-COVID items, such as trauma kits and polio supplies to support the polio program in Yemen. In 2020, WHO provided over $60 million in supplies to more than 110 countries around the world, including 26 million to Yemen alone. An operation of this scale simply wouldn't be possible without the collaboration of WFP and the generous support of the IHC and the government of the UAE. We have uh, um, an amazing visit to uh, the International Humanitarian City. We are really uh, very much uh, uh, grateful and uh, um, uh, respectful for the uh, job that the city is carrying out with the support of the Dubai uh, government uh, and for all the uh, humanitarian community here in the UAE and in the region. As you know, France is one of uh, uh, the great uh, funders for assistance, humanitarian assistance, and it's uh, very much important for me and my team to make uh, our French uh, headquarters and the French leaders to understand better about uh, the logistical hub provided by uh, uh, Dubai uh, Humanitarian City. Uh, I was quite impressed, since you uh, asked me about my impressions, uh, quite impressed uh, by uh, the large superficie of uh, uh, Dubai Humanitarian City and the fact that during Covid crisis you could uh, provide even more, you know, uh, the assistance uh, for many countries, including in Latin America, directly from Dubai. Uh, hi everyone, we're in Sharjah today at the Exposure International Photography Festival. Um, first time around, uh, hopefully the first of many, and uh, an ideal place to basically put a bit of uh, spotlight on uh, our patients and our activities worldwide. Thank you for joining us in this edition of IAC Video Magazine. If you would like to join us in upcoming editions, please write to us on our email address iac.marcom at iac.ae.